Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly readings for the week starting March 12th, 2018. And this is going to be a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Um, thank you for joining me. Keep an open mind for the messages that come through and watch your Moon and Rising Sign reading for additional messages that might apply to you, okay? So let's have a look at your overall energy. Overall energy for the week is the Emperor. So Major Arcana card with the Emperor, you're looking at either um, following the rules, do what you're told, um, anything to do with legal situations where you just have to do what they're telling you to do. Um, dealing with an overbearing boss during this time or dealing a lot more with figures of authority, your bosses, execs, okay, superiors, uh, maybe they're paying closer attention during this time or just they're paying closer attention to what you're doing during this time. Or this is about interviews, um, negotiations with figures of authority, anything like that. For others of you, there is an Aries individual, sun, moon, or rising sign that's significant during this time or just fire sign in general. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, sun, moon, or rising. Um, and this person is your focus for better or for worse, okay? You might also be looking at starting something, leading something, heading something um, during this time, okay, with the emperor. You're also establishing new ground rules, new foundations, um, <clears throat> new plans, new strategies. In your career, your finances, your personal projects, and your education, we have the justice card, so another major arcana card. This talks about doing the right thing. This talks about ask and receive so ask for that raise ask for that promotion apply for that loan grant whatever um apply to go in to get into that school or that training program for others of you this is about something given to you that you've applied for previously <clears throat> something granted to you during this time um facing the music so getting results feedback um referrals reviews assessments, appraisals um, coming up for you during this time. The Justice card just tells you that you're going to get what you deserve. So if you've been putting in the hours, doing the work, you're going to get what you deserve for that, okay? And if you might have been slacking or anything like that, then they are going to address it, they are going to mention it. Nothing too major, it just says you're going to get what you deserve. Whatever you've put in, that's where you're going to get. Um, in return, okay, from your, your bosses, from superiors, figures of authority. Anything to do with legal situations or disputes, any issues that, you know, HR have been involved in or the legal department has been involved in, um, they will get resolved during this time. And again, if you're in the right, you're going to get what you deserve. In your home and family situation, we have the King of Swords. So with the King of Swords, now this is your energy, okay? So this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and one of rising signs. You could be looking at getting expert advice to do with property, to do with real estate, to do with your financial investments, uh, to do with refinancing, to do with mortgages, um, anything like that. For others of you, this is a member in the family who's very stern very stubborn i feel like they're taking charge of everything um and they're telling you what to do and so you're feeling the pressure and then on the other hand this is you having to step up and 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 provide for everyone or step up and take care of everyone um or step up and take care of one person in particular because they're not being um they're not in a position where they can take care of themselves okay so i feel like you're fixing someone else's problems during this week someone in your close circle of friends uh family or people who feel like family, okay? And I feel like it's up to you to sort things out for them, okay, during this time. Be discerning. I feel that you are talking to these people in terms of, you know what, I'm going to do this for you, I will help you. However, there's gonna be some new rules when it comes to this, okay, you can't do this, you can't do that, and you're gonna to have to repay me, you're gonna to have to come up with, you know, a plan to pay me back, or you're gonna to have to show me that, you know, you're, you're going to, um, pay me back for what I'm doing, whether that's financially or any other way, okay? So I feel that you're fixing something for someone, but then you're giving them some rules on how things are gonna move um, going forward, how things are gonna go moving forward. 
and also what they're going to do to make amends to you or to pay you back because I feel like this is a repeat offender type of situation. For your emotional life and love life, we do have the moon. So with the moon, for some you're either dealing with um, water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. Um, and I feel that there's some confusion around this person. Either you don't know you can trust them or you find something out that you're not necessarily happy about, okay, regarding this person. And I feel like this is someone that you had your eye on or you liked uh, or you were thinking of asking out or you were just casually dating. And I feel like um, you either find out that they're uh, already married or you're already, they're already in a relationship or they actually have a family with someone or stuff like that, okay? A secret is, is revealed during this time. Um, and so that it may not be easy to deal with. It may not be what you wanted to hear. However, it is the truth and it frees you from a bad situation. For others of you, I feel that you have a decision to make when it comes to a relationship or you have a decision to make when it comes to um, commitment in general and you're not sure what to do, you might be dealing with an overbearing person, a controlling person, a manipulative or uh, overbearing, possessive, jealous kind of individual. Uh, there may be control issues within the relationship and so you're thinking, um, does it really have a future? Um, do I wanna marry this person? Uh, do I wanna live with this person? Um, do I wanna start a family with this person? So I feel like you have some uh, heavy decisions on your mind during this time but the moon is there to tell you to follow your intuition follow your instincts if you feel like something's not going to work out in in a positive way for you um then it's better to cut cords now um and if you feel like you can take a chance on someone then go ahead and take a chance on them okay follow your intuition but i do feel that information is revealed during this time um that gives you a clear indication on what you're supposed to do next Okay. And for others, this can also be about a pregnancy that is kept a secret at this time. Maybe it's in the very early stages or it's just a secret for whatever reason. For your uh, health and well-being, we do have the lovers. So with the lovers, this is a number six okay, car, so the sixth house. Um, and this has to do with kidney, stomach, bowels, intestines, and uh, abdomen. So for some of you, you might be not feeling very well, okay, um, eating something and then not feeling right in the stomach, um, dealing with any issues like IBS or anything like that, okay, that might be coming up or flaring up during this time. Um, issues with digestion, okay, that might be coming up during this time. Because you have a choice to make about information that is revealed to you. And I feel that you are looking at lifestyle changes. You're looking at committing to a new way of living, a new way of eating, a new way of um, you know, working out, looking at your health in general, okay? Because something needs to be addressed and there's a, there's a shift that needs to happen that you do need to commit to. So either you have to commit to actually following a treatment that was prescribed to you because it's not, it's not working for you to be on and off with it. You have to commit to it committing to a new diet, committing to a new workout plan, committing to um, your goals. When it comes to your health and well-being, you have to commit in order to reach those goals. You can't, you, you can't be one foot in and one foot out, okay? You have to be full in, okay? So for some, that's what you're looking at during this time. And you have to make some decisions, okay? Because I feel that someone's giving you some rules that you need to follow if you want to see your health be what you want it to be. And it's your your part is to listen take it in and then commit to doing what they're telling you to do that's best for your health okay and it might be anything to do with cutting out things that you overindulge with okay so sugar uh, drinking eating anything that you overindulge with that's a source of uh, pleasure or comfort for you like comfort food I feel like that needs to go and so it's a big decision it's a big change but it can work you just need to commit to it your overall guidance we have share when you share everyone feels happy so with this I feel that um, this is the energy of, of success 
So you have a win, you have success, and then you, you share the news, okay? You, for others, this is sharing the wealth, sharing the joy. So I feel that you have reasons to celebrate, and then you get people together, you get your loved ones together, and you celebrate with them. For others of you, this is sharing news about a marriage, or sharing news about a pregnancy, uh, or sharing news... For some, it's about a pregnancy that you feel you should keep secret because you're not sure how the other person's going to take it or how your family's going to take it. And this is t this is saying, you know what, take a chance, uh, trust that they're going to be happy for you and share that information because this is about, you know, you being embraced, okay, because of it. And there is rejoicing because of it, okay. This is teamwork, okay, ask for help. And you might have to offer someone help or they're asking you for help, okay? And this is about sharing your home with them for a while or sharing your finances with them for a while where you take care of them for a while, okay? Um, with this energy. And you might be moving, especially if that's something that you've been working towards. You might be moving or you're getting that promotion. And if you are receiving if you're winning something, be sure to give credit to those who have helped you get there, okay? Because you have the justice card here as well. So be sure to give credit what credit is due, okay? So that is your reading. I hope that it helps. I hope that it makes sense to you. Uh, let me know what the cards talk about for you if they apply, if the messages apply. Um, have a great week. Enjoy it. Make it the best week that you can. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.